What is attraction? Attraction can be defined as the action or power of evoking interest, pleasure, or liking for someone or something. I feel like there's this big misconception that attraction is solely based on your looks, your physical appearance, but that cannot be further from the truth. Attraction is a multifaceted feeling. It is a multifaceted concept that involves not only your physical appearance, but also your energetic appearance, the way that you come across to people the way that you carry yourself in your day-to-day -day life. Now, the simplest way to become more attractive to other people, and I'm not just talking about women, this is how you can be attractive to women, this is how you can be attractive to potential business partners, people who might get you into positions to further your career or further your life or your own self-development. The easiest way to be more attractive is to be confident. It's as simple as that. Be more confident. Be confident in yourself. People are drawn to confidence. Why are you watching this video? You're watching this video because I have confidence in what I'm saying. That's why you respect the words that I'm saying. And if you think about it, a lot of the most attractive people that you can think about are very confident people, extremely confident people. Because when you're confident in yourself, that means that in a sense you are attracted to yourself. You are placing your energetic focus within. And when you place your focus within, you stand out from the crowd automatically because most people are not doing that. You are one of a kind. You're built different. And in that way, you are naturally going to attract people. They can't help it. They're energetically attracted to you. Now, this is easier said than done. How do you become more confident? You become more confident by focusing on yourself and taking care of yourself. It's that simple. You have to learn to focus on yourself and take good care of yourself. Now, how do you go about doing those two things? The first thing that you can do to focus on yourself is to spend time alone. A lot of you guys are lonely. If you're watching a video on how to be more attractive, I'm already making a few assumptions about you. And if this doesn't apply to you, then that's fine. But for a lot of you, this will apply. You're probably pretty insecure about yourself, which I'm not judging you for that. I was that way too, until I realized that I have to focus on myself and everything began to change. But you're probably pretty insecure about yourself and you're probably watching this video for the sake of getting women to like you. You want to be attractive to women. But like I said, this transcends just women. This is about being attractive to everyone, including women, particularly the women that will actually fit into the scheme of your life. Now, like I said, you have to focus on yourself and one of the best ways to do that is to spend time alone. You have to learn to overcome your fear of being by yourself, of spending time in solitude. Solitude is power. The still mind gets what it wants. Write that down and commit it to memory. The still mind gets what it wants. I'm living proof of that. When you focus on yourself, and you allow your mind to be still and silent, you're tapping into your true nature, your true energetic potential. You're tapping into the infinite energy, the infinite abundance, and the unconditional love that the universe has to provide you. Now, if none of this makes sense to you, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. This is advanced spiritual talk. In layman's terms, spend time alone. Find time to be by yourself. Because when you're by yourself, you're naturally going to place more attention and energy back within yourself because you have nowhere else to put it. When you place that energy into yourself, it gives you more energy to put out, to project. And in that way, you can take that energy and reinvest it back into yourself. It's just like with stocks, for example. You can set up a dividend reinvesting program. Every time your stock makes you money, every time it pays out dividends, it goes back into the stock, which then makes more money and it compounds over time. And it works the same way with you and your energetic field. This will help you become so attractive to people that people will start to approach you. People will start to approach you because they're drawn to your energy. And I'm only saying this from a place of experience. I've personally lived this. I've experimented with this. The still mind gets what it wants. When you Subject your mind to stillness and solitude and silence. What ends up happening is 
Like I said earlier, you're tapping into your true energetic potential. And when you tap into your true energetic potential, anything that you want is basically insignificant in comparison to all of existence. When you tap into that oneness and you learn to let go of the illusion of separation, you can draw forth anything that you desire to yourself, whether it be women, money, success, status, whatever. But this is how you go about doing it. You have to place your energy and focus back within. And a great way to do that is through silence and solitude. Now, I know that some people, you might not be ready for that yet. And that's okay. Maybe you want more practical advice. And this is where self-care comes in. You have to learn to take good care of yourself. Now, I know self-care is a very ambiguous term. Nobody really knows what it means, especially men. Self-care is basically exactly what it sounds like. A lot of people overthink what this really means. All self-care is, is the act of taking care of yourself, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Now, I already told you how to take care of yourself spiritually. Now, I'm going to tell you how to take care of yourself physically, because if you can master spiritual self-care and physical self-care, as well as mental and emotional self-care, you are going to become a very, very energetically attractive person. Now, the thing about taking care of yourself physically is it starts with a desire to want better for yourself. You have to decide, you have to make a conscious decision that you want to become the best version of you that you can be. And a great way to do that is by taking care of your skin, developing a great skincare routine. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Tiege Hanley. Now people always ask me how I get that glow that you see in all of my videos. I get that glow in two ways, focusing on myself and taking care of myself. And Tiege Hanley plays a big role in that. Now I've been using Tiege Hanley for a few months and in that time I have seen an enhanced glow. I had that glow before, but this took it to that next level. This elevated my skin to such a degree that people consistently ask me for my skincare routine. They comment about it, they email me about it, they ask me during live streams, and I always tell them the same thing. I take good care of and invest in myself. It's as simple as that. And I do that by using Tiege Hanley every single day. Now Tiege Hanley offers a wide range of products to elevate your skincare routine. Your skin is the most prevalent part of your body. When people look at you, it is the first thing that they see, literally. They see your skin. And if you're not taking good care of your skin, it's generally a good reflection of the way that you take care of yourself in all other aspects, especially spiritually. That's why a lot of spiritual YouTubers have that glow. But when you combine that, that spiritual aspect of self-care with the physical aspect of self-care, that's how you get this type of glow. That's how you get that next level glow. And a great way to get that glow is by using their moisturizers. These are my two favorite products. As you can see, the tubes are almost empty. I need to get more product from Tiege Hanley, but the reason why they're empty is because I use them every single day because they work. Now, I understand that for a lot of men, skincare can be very complicated and even intimidating if you've never had a solid skincare routine before, but Tiege Hanley has you covered. They give you thorough, detailed instructions on the back of every single product, telling you exactly how much to use, what time to use it, and how often to use it. So you never have to worry about misusing their products because it's all right there for you. If you know how to read, you can use Tiege Hanley. And if you don't know how to read, then maybe you shouldn't be focused on being more attractive. Now, because Tiege Hanley does not use a middleman in their operations, you get a very high quality product for a relatively low price you're getting an amazing value. If you live in the US, you get free shipping. And if you live internationally, then you pay a small international fee. But to me, that's well worth it for the product, for the quality of product that you're receiving in return. Now, if you decide to sign up for a membership with Tiege Hanley, you can save 25% or more on all retail prices of all Tiege Hanley skincare systems. So click the link in the description or in the pinned comment of this video for the best possible price and a free gift with your first box. Click the link and get started for as low as $25. Like I said, invest in yourself. Now, the next way to take care of yourself physically is to work out. Develop a solid exercise regimen. Go to the gym. You don't even have to go to the gym. Develop a solid home workout routine. Do something every day that is going to physically make you better. And remember, 
You're not doing this for the sake of looking better. You're doing this for the sake of feeling better. You feel better about yourself. You don't take care of yourself physically because of how other people perceive you. You take care of yourself physically because you want to feel good in your own skin. You want to feel good in your own body. And if you take care of yourself physically by working out, going to the gym, going for runs, playing sports, whatever brings you joy and satisfaction, that is going to make you a more energetically attractive person because you're going to be comfortable in your own skin. If you notice, it's very rare that you find somebody who's in really good shape and is still insecure about themselves. And it's not just because they look good, because there's always going to be somebody that looks better than you. Comparison is the thief of joy and there will always be somebody with a more aesthetic body than you. The reason why they feel better about themselves is because they're taking good care of themselves. They know that they're treating themselves with respect. If you're in a relationship and somebody isn't treating you with respect, you're not going to be happy in that relationship. And it works the same way with your relationship with yourself. If you're not taking good care of yourself, if you're not treating yourself with respect and kindness and love, you're not going to be happy in that relationship with yourself and nobody wants to take part in a toxic relationship except for toxic people who want to take advantage of you. So that's why you have to take good care of yourself. People can sense when you are not at peace with yourself, especially women. And they perceive that as a lack of security, which anybody who understands women understands just how fatal that is in regards to your ability to attract a woman into your life. So you have to be at peace and in love with yourself, taking good care of yourself from the inside and the outside. You have to embrace who you are and stop comparing yourself to other people. If you don't stop comparing yourself to other people, you're never going to be at peace. If you're with a girl, if you're in a relationship with a girl and you're constantly comparing her to an Instagram model or the girl down the street, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to stop appreciating her and she's going to leave you unless she's very insecure about herself, which at that point, it becomes a toxic relationship. It's the same thing with yourself. If you're constantly comparing yourself to other people, you're going to lose that sense of true self, which goes back to solitude. You're going to lose that sense of power, of pure potentiality, because you're not in tune with who you are. You're living through other people's perceptions of yourself and not through your own perspective. And you deserve better than that. You deserve to be the best version of yourself and to attract people who actually vibe with you. I'm not teaching you how to attract everyone. I'm teaching you how to attract the people who belong in your life, the people that you actually vibe with. The girl that you'll want to spend time with beyond just having sex, beyond just the physical. Somebody that you connect with from a spiritual level. But the only way you can find somebody like that is if you are connected with yourself at a spiritual level.